This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Club and Stage Route 5 is next on the arcade mode list. And let's go back to the hard difficulty. We are to use a card from here, there, uh, here? No, we have not. All right, full Shingo strats now. Time for Club and Stage Route 5. Too bad. Uh, too bad it is not a, a mountain pass. Otherwise, I'd punt a Torino. All right, fiends. Later, dude. Thanks for coming back, and uh, have a good one, man. Mazda 6 Diesel? Ooh. Dude, even a Mazda Speed 6 I'd fuck with. That'd be a nice car to own. But, um... Yeah, like, like, dude... If I was rich, then I would keep the R34, but since I'm poor... There's no way I can afford insurance for it. And plus, dude, you, you'd you make a lot of money selling it. Especially being the only US legal one. Pfft, forget it. Yeah, it's a shame, really. Although, try not to spoil the arcade mode. I already know, I already know the arcade mode, but for anybody watching on YouTube. Because they can see the chat, obviously, on the screen. <laughs> You just never know. Like, even though the game is 23 years old and we're celebrating the birthday of it, um, I just don't like to mention, like, any unlockables because, yeah, you just never know if someone's watching for the first time. Like, my friend Marvin, aka M MTG27 Racing, he just um, hosted earlier. He's never played these games before, so it's always nice to see someone play old games for the first time and you know what's coming and then seeing their reaction is always great. The joints, yeah, it's 21 years old now, bro. It's the R34 is now old enough to drink beer in the states. Well, legal as is, I mean. Like I said, Tuner Colt has... They have their US legal one. I don't know how it's US legal, but they did something to it. Yeah, exactly. Can't, dude, you guys have a 15-year rule. A year and a half younger than you? Oh, shit. Like, okay, I, I think the 25-year rule should be adjusted and tweaked. I feel like it's kind of pointless now. Like, I had this conversation with, with um, LC, who just went to work right now, um, who was in the chat earlier. We had this conversation on the weekend, but we were just like, dude, the 25-year rule only exists because people were importing, like, really shitty, unsafe cars into the States because they was cheaper. Like, now, like, cars nowadays, they're built with so much more safety advancements and stuff that the 25-year rule is kind of irrelevant. Like, we don't need to have it anymore. We're going back to Honda. We're going with the Prelude. I'm going to get it in Cranberry. Like, it, it's just, it's pointless, dude. Like, we don't need the 25-year rule anymore. Like, sure, give us the rule still. But, like, like I said, like, we've gone so far ahead with, with safety advancements that we don't really have to worry as much anymore. I guess in some ways, like, maybe... Maybe you'll get crushed to death driving a freaking like Fiat Multipla or like a like a modern Panda if you're driving on the freeway with like a Escalade and a Hummer H2 around you, but Yeah, exactly, Tucho. And I guarantee you like it's only around still as well because like let me give you an example. The GR Yaris, I guarantee you people will be importing GR Yaris's if um if um, we we're able to. Yeah, that, that's all it is at the end of the day in the States as well. It was done originally for safety, but now it's... Now it's just done to sell more US cars, and US cars fucking suck for the most part. At least that's my opinion. Holden Commodore? Really? 
Also, I heard that the um, Opal Speedster and BX220 Vauxhall are both um, super unsafe as well. Because I mentioned, I think it was like a year or two ago, I mentioned like, oh, I would love to own one in real life. And then um, one, of, one of my British viewers, um, Mayall, he was like, yeah, it's it's awesome. Until you crash and you split it in half. I'm like, oh, <laughs> fuck it, I still own one. And you're 31 year old F-150. I mean, it basically is, but it's cool looking. That you cannot deny. It looks awesome, dude. Like, look, when I was in Germany a year ago and I saw a Speedster on the highway. No, I'm lying, not on the highway. I saw it on a train. I was the only person obviously fanboying. Look, I'm the only kind of weirdo who, who got like all excited to see Opals and citrons on the street and everybody are just like all the german people are just like well the hell is this tourist doing getting excited over a freaking the high historia <laughs> like we don't get these in the states and i like cars the least safer i have no idea you're asking the wrong person when it comes to car safety and blah 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 i i wouldn't have a clue bro <laughs> like I, I don't know Anyways, time for Class A. This time around, let's get the GTO. The only acceptable color, the Marina Blue, I think it's called. The Vauxhall Sintra? I have never even heard of that. I don't know what the hell that is. I always do drift physics in arcade mode. Why? Because it's arcade mode. Why not? So the car that was giving us a little bit of trouble in the B license, in B2 and B5, uh, yeah, we're back. Vauxhall branded American minivan? Really? Which mini? Oh, it's a Pontiac Montana? Oh my god. <laughs> that's, oh my god, that's, that's lovely. Oh, alright. Thank you. Everyone's just gathered everywhere. There is no sense of order here. Oh, look, it's the Mazda Speed RX-7. Oh my god, I have, I have a story to tell you guys. When it comes to GTOs or 3000 GTs. Arthur, you madman. Oh, whoops. GTPSP? Um... Not much to say, really. It's just P GT on the go. And it has probably some of the coolest not license exams ever. Because the challenge mode is really damn cool. So if the, you know, if the, um, if we had analog buttons and we were able to control throttles and stuff, it would be like the perfect license exams. Anyways, um, so I had a friend, right? who owned a 3000 GT. He owned a 92 or 93 model, the pop-up light one. Dude. He was always bragging like, yeah, I drive a 3000 GT. Like, like you still have your Corolla, dude? Like, your Corolla's a shitbox. Like, okay. Like, all right, man, I guess. Like, whatever. Like, just because I don't take out a fucking bank loan just to buy a 3000 GT and pay a bunch of interest. Like, you, you know, like, all right, rub it in my face some more. And then get this. Friggin' moron actually like he slams the throttle around around a, a street intersection. He manages to get wheel spin. He spins the fucking car out and smashes it so hard into a pole that he dents the chassis and it's and basically the car looks like this. And pretty much it was a it was a total it was a total loss. Like, okay, okay, dickhead, like, whatever. Like, he's like, oh, man, I'm sad. I, I crashed my 2000 GT. I'm just like, all right. Like, okay, dude, like, you used to pay for it? Like, like yeah, I can't I can't get it away from the bank. Like, okay, um, I'm going to buy a G35 now. I'm like, all right. Like, I, if you didn't learn your lesson with an all-wheel drive car, it makes you think that a rear-wheel drive car is going to do, do you any favors. But, all right. <laughs> Fuck it. So, we've unlocked all the tracks now. Yay! Now that means that when we start with Autumn Ring, we're gonna unlock manufacturers.
because manufacturers are cool. 